With the release of their new M3 chips, Apple made waves in the tech world. The M3, M3 Pro, and M3 Max turned out to be the best in class. Apple set the bar with these new chips, with other companies scrambling to match or even outperform the M3 Max. But the Cupertino-based company have got another trick up their sleeves, the unreleased M3 Ultra, which we'll see in the next Mac Studio. Even though Apple has not officially announced the M3 Ultra, there are enough leaks out there to suggest that this release will be game-changing for the industry. So what are you waiting for? Hit like and subscribe to help bring more tech news and leaks like this. Let's get started. Apple put everything they had into the M3 Max chip. They simply went all out with those 12 performance cores running at high clock speeds. As a result, the M3 Max got a big jump in terms of performance, about 17% higher in single core and 49% faster in multi-core than the M2 Max. Gaming performance and Xcode programming performance also got a huge bump. Ray tracing and Blender 3D rendering were over twice as fast as the M2 Max. This suggests that if the thin MacBook Pro with the M3 Max can handle all that heat, then we can expect the M3 Ultra Max Studio to be an absolute beast. And cooling shouldn't be a problem either, since the fans of the M2 Ultra Max Studio would rarely spin up given the ultra-efficient copper cooling system. According to tech journalist Mark Gurman, the top-end M3 Ultra could have a whopping 32 CPU cores and 80 GPU cores, totaling 184 billion transistors. And with 256 gigs of potential unified memory, the M3 Ultra could essentially be the most powerful consumer chip ever made. In comparison, the M3 Max has 16 CPU cores, 40 GPU cores, and 92 billion transistors. So, if the rumors hold true, then the M3 Ultra would essentially be a combination of two M3 Max chips interconnected using Apple's Ultra Fusion process. Also, if we analyze the M3 Max die, we'll notice how it's designed in a way that'll be perfect for combining the two chips together. The LPDDR5 channels run along the sides, and the SLC cache extends down to the bottom. The GPU cores are also positioned at the bottom, while the Thunderbolt channels and other components are located at the top. This means Apple can easily add another M3 Max die at the bottom to create the M3 Ultra. This setup will centralize all the GPU blocks closer together, which would be great for GPU scaling. Now, let's talk about a potential release date. The much-awaited MacBook Air with an M3 chip is expected to be announced at Apple's spring event, so the M3 Ultra is not expected to hit the news until WWDC in June. The current studio with the M2 Ultra chip was introduced at WWDC in June 2023, and a report from Taiwanese research firm Trendforce forecasted another mid-year update for the studio, so a repeat appearance at WWDC this year seems most likely. Also, TSMC, Apple's chip manufacturer, aims to increase production capacity utilization to 80% by the end of 2024. According to reports, Apple plans to keep using TSMC's M3e process node in future M3 Ultra chips and the A18 Pro SoC for the iPhone 16 Pro. Now, as far as price is concerned, the M3 Ultra Max Studio is expected to stick to the same $4,000 base price the M2 Ultra variant released with. The base M3 Ultra will likely come with 28 CPU and 76 GPU cores. So, there you have it. These were all the major leaks and rumors about the Apple M3 Ultra Max Studio. We don't know about you, but we are pretty excited to check out the massive performance upgrades. However, nothing is set in stone yet. Even though the information leaked is reliable, Apple may still spring out some crazy surprises. We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.